Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne. When we last left off, we completed Chapter 2. Today, we're going into Chapter 3, The Tomb of Sargeras. Moments later, just inside the entrance of the shadowed tomb, Maiev and her watchers brace themselves for an ambush. Now, there's a couple things I want to point out before the talking starts. One, Maiev has been, um, I guess, underground for the last 10,000 years, uh, keeping Illidan in a cell. Which explains her sunny disposition and total, complete, awesome ability to interact with other people. Uh, and, yeah. And, uh, because of that, how does she know? Okay. Alright. How does she know that what an orc is? All right, the orcs were not seen on this continent uh, for before the third war. So it's like, okay, where did these orcs come from? It's like, it's like, oh, she knows what an orc is. You get in here, she knows orcish runes. It's like, wow, Maya, you're such a. I can't think of the word. Person who knows lots. Of I things. have a bad feeling about this mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Nisha Still, X. Still, we must press on, Nisha. My, uh, if Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Got that Wait, look there. Mistress dynamic going on. I'm sorry. I took that to a dirty place it shouldn't have. Strange. Happen. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Gul'dan when he first opened this tomb 20 years ago. What do they say? Apparently, he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway. We must reach the Chamber of the Eye before the tomb's guardians awaken. Another complaint. Those are shamans. Spineless cowards. Not warlocks. Move. Where are the warlocks? Why are there shamans? Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees. There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. Now, another thing I don't quite get is why did... Okay, Sargeras, in case you don't know, Sargeras is the creator of the Burning Legion. He is the guy that... Yeah, he, he's the head of the Burning League. Uh, Archimond was just one of his lieutenants. He actually has two lieutenants. Uh, the second lieutenant gets killed in uh, World of Warcraft. The... Uh, let's see, what is it? He gets killed in the Burning Crusade expansion uh, during the Sunwell uh, thing. And he makes it. He More makes it. orcs. Gul'dan led them blindly to their deaths. Still, they hunger for revenge. Hmm, excuse me. And he, uh, this lieutenant makes uh, an appearance later on in this game. Now there are a lot of hidden things in this map, so do keep an eye out. Uh, watch out for uh, glyphs and stuff that just randomly appear and on walls and things like that. Uh, obvious places you can blink to. And such. Take that. I don't... Well, you know what? Guess I could just use it. Alright. I think I had another complaint about the lore there, but uh, I lost it. So, uh, we'll just... If, if it comes back to me, I'll say something. Uh... 
goodies out in the open. My have needs to hurry up and get to level 5 where I can get that level 3 blink. <laughs> the 1 second cooldown is amazing. Like, if I had, like, like, any micromanagement skills whatsoever, the warden becomes a beast once you get that level 3 blink, because, like, you can't touch her. It's like... Turn back, you mortals! None may defile the tomb of Zagara! Get out of the fire! Jeez. Get out of the freaking fire! Whoa! Almost dead. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, we go this way. I think it stays night here the entire time. I'm not entirely sure on that, but uh, I think so. Let's see, want to go this way? Kill this here, Pit Lord. My very almost dead archers. I did just kind of stay back. Uh, I didn't think you could. Back around. Down through hell. There is one specific item you want to watch out for while you're here. Well, I say one specific item. It becomes one specific item. Uh, it's actually split into ten items. As you pick the pieces up, it gets more and more powerful. I'm about to pick the first piece. Get the first piece here in just a second. Oh, I have. She must go alone. This, I, I actually don't think this is the one they intended you to pick up first. Uh, but, eh, what can you do? So as far as I know, the first one you can actually get to. don't think there's anything down there but if you walk over here you can now blink right there this is a piece of Gul'dan shadow orb he must have shattered it by accident if we can find the other missing pieces we could reassemble the orb and use its power to aid us hmm, using demonic artifacts are you all right come on come on blink like I said can't wait for that level 3 blink if for no other reason, then I don't have to wait so long. <laughs> All right.
Kill it! Our warriors have engaged the enemy. As you pick up more and more pieces of the Shadow Orb, uh, you will, of course, get more and more powerful Shadow Orb item thingy. I'm sorry, uh, Fraps really does not like... I can hear our comrades' voices from the other side of this barrier. If we destroy it, they'll be able to get inside and help us hunt for Illidan. My strength is yours. Fraps does not like this game for some reason. Well, I can kind of understand. This game is getting rather old. Alright, so we want to get up here. Because there is another orb. Right here. Dun 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 Da, da, da. Two of ten. This is probably, if you were to go through this game blind, that's probably the first one you would find. Because you'll be like, oh, I wonder what's down in here. And you'll see that uh, glyph there. Then jump over there. Alright. Nice, should go up there, please. Get your fat self on the butt. And that, of course, unlocked a secret passage somewhere that I'm going to send Maev back over here. And unlock this door right here, I do believe. Still hits them, so. <laughs> I'm slowed. It's terrible. All right. Ooh, ring of protection plus two. Blink. What is this? A skink? Frag inventory three. is full. She is almost level five. One of the normally, I guess you would, uh, depending on, there are several ways to level up your. Warden. Can I just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. There are several ways to uh, level up your warden. For the single player missions, I actually recommend that you get level 3 blink as fast as possible uh, due to the fact that... Uh, you know what? Do I want to... Oh, excuse me. No, I think... Ah, there we go. Did you see it? Please stay. Don't go running off. Stay together. Fragment number four. 
Hopefully I haven't missed any. Ready for cutscene time. There. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the warlock's tale. I want to know how she could glyphs. Blasted feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. My power alone should be enough. <laughs> Sargeras, you seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. It might just be an actual eyeball. You ever think about that? No, you didn't. Let's see, my Ev. Now, I don't think I've ever found. I, I don't think I know where everything in this level is, but I, I have completed the Shadow Orb many, many times, so. I can at least show you where all those are. Hopefully. Hopefully. Man, Fraps in this game really don't get along. Let me kill these Murlocs real fast. There we go. That seems to have fixed it. I don't know. That was a problem I was having with Ghostbusters as well. I get a random frame rate drop. Now, one thing they never explain is why is this the tomb of Sargeras? Now, the Night Elves fought the Burning Legion uh, 10,000 years ago in the timeline of this game, but the question Strange. is. Strange. It's a statue of Ajara, the great queen of old. She led our people to ruin by consorting with Sargeras and his Burning Legion. Only, I don't recall her ever having a tail. She looks more like a Naga than one of us. Would those foul serpents have any reason to worship our queen? I don't know, Nysha. But her image chills me to the core. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about, so uh, we're just going to keep killing things until I remember. Let's go. Well, we came from that way. Now, if you do your uh, reveal map, basically, right in this area, this dark area right here, there's uh, some gauntlets of ogre strength, but I do not know how to get those legitimately. If I figure it out today, hey. But uh, I actually don't really know how to get those. Well, okay then. Destroy that barrier so our forces outside can join us. The hunt is on. And I don't think there's anything you can get by walking this way. This area right here is where you need to watch out for trees. Anytime, basically, anytime you see a tree, you want to uh, put a. Uh, That's good. 
Bears, bears, bears. Okay, fine. Anytime you see a tree, you want to put an owl in it. Because uh, nine times out of ten, it is going to reveal something. This way. Now, let's see, where's Nisha? I guess I lost one of my regular huntresses. Well, I only had one, but I guess I lost her. Alright, now. Ta da! I think that's everything. You know, go back to being a kind of fucking heavy healer. Healing salve. Do I want that? Healing salve is a very, very useful item. Uh, especially, like, for the orcs who get it in their racial store. Uh, very good. It's those barrels. Link across. Dun, dun, dun. Like I said, keep an eye out for trees. Said uh, Fen and Eyes won't kill these egg bats. At least I don't think it does. I don't feel like wasting the mana. Well, you know what? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, there we go. A stone token. The question is, do I want to take the stone token? If you don't know what it does, it summons a uh, stone golem for you. the stone token there. I, I don't really want it. Uh, I'm more of the kind of guy that would rather have an item that gave me a permanent buff than something that would than an oh shit. You know? I, I'm more of a passive kind of guy instead of an active. I guess that's me being lazy mostly but uh Hey. Cool. Free healing. Seven, so I need three more. 
Okay, I, I know there's one at the very end of the mission, like down here in this corner. But off the top of my head, I really actually can't remember where the rest of them are. Yeah, I guess level 5 is her cap for this mission. That's Which sucks. Far enough, little warden. Your vaunted night elf justice has no jurisdiction here. What would you know of us or our justice, Naga Witch? Why, my dear, we Naga were once night elves. Dun dun dun! We were Ashara's chosen, the Highborn, banished beneath the cruel seas when the Well of Eternity imploded around us. Impossible. Cursed. Transformed. We have waited 10,000 years to retake our rightful place in the world. And now, with Lord Illidan's help, we shall. Not while I draw breath. Your courage is commendable, but it shall avail you nothing. Murder all the Naga! Murder them dead! Now, I guess, you know, honestly, I don't think that uh, these, the Naga that are helping Illidan are really, honestly, part. I, I, they never really explain it, but I think they're kind of like a splinter group, because in Cataclysm, and it could just be a lore rewrite, you know. Which, you know, because Blizzard does that every once in a while. Uh, from a uh, gameplay standpoint... Destroy that barrier so our forces outside can join us. Oh wait, that's not the barrier she's talking about. From a gameplay standpoint, I have no problem with them rewriting lore. From a, uh... From a lore standpoint, it pisses me off because it's like... Okay, what is, uh... Because it's kind of hard to keep up with what's what sometimes, you know? Anyway, let's head up here. But, uh, if you've played Cataclysm, which... I played Cataclysm, like I said, I don't play WoW anymore. Uh, but I did do all of the missions, the quests, excuse me, in Cataclysm. I did every single quest. Uh, because I'm the kind of guy that, that really likes to follow the story. There were so many Naga in the underwater zone that it's like, okay, if there really and truly are that many Naga, if they wanted to invade the, the uh, you know, the surface, uh, they could and they would win. So it makes me wonder, because this is actually a relatively small amount of Naga. Makes me wonder if, you know, they were more or less following Lady Bash and not the Queen. Or maybe the Queen said, hey, 
Lady Vash, go up to the uh, surface, cause some hell, and you know, you're, but you're on your own. to go and I think I remember where they're at actually if I remember correctly there's actually one right in this area here got to find the spot where you can start blinking. Rejuvenation is so powerful in this game. Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, there is a fragment right there. Now, I just gotta... You guys need to back the hell off. Wow. My Ev. Yeah, I know I gotta explore there first, but I gotta... Yup, more story. Look, mistress. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Yes, Gul'dan's script seems to grow more desperate. It reads that he was... Ambushed... by the Guardians. I... am... dying. If my servants had not abandoned me, I could have claimed the Eye and... Damn you, Sargeras. I won't be beaten like this. I am Gul'dan. I am darkness incarnate. It cannot end like this. This is as far as he got. The runes simply trail off. I cannot imagine what horrors Gul'dan faced in his final moments. It's kind of funny because if you know Warcraft lore at all, uh, Gul'dan is a very, very uh, sinister guy, and for him to go out like he did is... It's, uh... If you know, like, the lore at all, like I said, like, the old Horde and, th and the way they did things, and then Gul'dan himself... I will find this freaking spot where I'm supposed to blink to. It's it's kind of, I guess, I'm not going to say... It, it's not how Gul'dan wanted to go out. At all. But I think it's a very fitting end for him. And that, that's not the right way. There's no trees over here, I don't think. Damn it, I know that. I know it's there. I know I know it's there. And I'm not going to cheat to get it, because I've gotten to the end of this uh, level. I've gotten it before. I just must explore there first. Yes, I'm aware. Hold on a sec. Let me figure this out, and then I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I figured it out. I uh, looked it up. Apparently, uh, you can't get to it from here. So I was like, eh. So. Let's go through here. Alright, you're supposed to 
go north. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And we got fragment number nine. And I remember exactly where fragment number ten is. Go down here. It's over here. Finally, the last piece of the Shadow Orb. Now we'll use Gul'dan's own artifact to discover what he could not. So the Shadow Orb is a really good item. It gives you plus 10 to your attack damage and 3 armor and the effects of a Ring of Regeneration. So it's a very, very good item. All right, guys, come on. It's time to end this. No, oh, don't kill my druid. I hear dark whispering beyond this gate. It could be Illidan and his minions. Well, let's go find out! And we can't walk through the gate. Okay. Fine. Fine. We won't find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Warden Shadowsong, you've made it at last. I knew you would. You have much to pay for, Illidan. I'm taking you back to your cell. Naivete does not suit you. When I consumed the power of Gul'dan's skull, I inherited his memories, especially those of this place, and the dark prize he coveted. Yes, the power of Sargeras. You would claim it as your own. That power is beyond my reach, little warden. But this... The Eye of Sargeras contains all the power I'll need to rid this wretched world of my enemies once and for all. Ironic that you should be its first victim. You're insane. Isolation can do that to the mind. Now, At least he admits after it. all the long centuries you kept me chained in darkness, it is only fitting that I bury you in turn. Treachery. My power will allow me to escape, but I fear there is no way out for the rest of you. Go, mistress. The goddess will light our path to the hereafter. I will not forget you, my sisters. You will be avenged. I swear it. Now I've got to find a way out before this cursed tomb is drowned by the seas. So now we have three minutes to escape. What that means is you blink and run. Blink and run. Blink and run. This is why I recommend you get the level 3 blink. Our warriors have engaged the enemy.
allows you to get the hell up out of here without with zero waiting. Chapter 3 of the Night Elf Campaign next time, of course, as always, is the next chapter. I'll see you then.